Right, how's everyone doing? Cheers to Ben, otherwise known as the legend Mr. Door, for inviting me on the channel again. Essentially, I'm just going to assess Nottingham Forest season so far in about two and a half minutes. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. Right, so heading into the international break, we're currently sat second in the championship. Level on points with West Brom in first place, actually. They're just one ahead of us on goal difference. I couldn't really ask for a better start, to be honest. Um, we've, had, we've had a very, very tough start as well. We've had Swansea away, Leeds away, West Brom at home. These have all been very tough games compared to other teams out there that have you know, not really contrasted to a difficult start that we've had. Our record's also massively improved this season. We've only lost one game this season, discluding the Arsenal game under Sabri Lamucci. And that was, of course, the first game of the season where we're getting to know everyone. Obviously, we had Muric in goal and, uh, yeah, he didn't make a very good impression. Now, obviously, we've got the stability of Bryce Samba, who is absolutely outstanding. He's been one of our best players so far this season. And just generally, in terms of results this season, we managed to salvage draws that we definitely wouldn't have last season. Which shows the emphasis of the players willing to fight back and get the result that we need. We've had the impacts of substitutions such as Albert Adoma who came on at Charlton. We were at a shocking first half, absolutely diabolical. And the second half we stepped up our game a bit, brought on the substitutions. Impact substitutions this year have been so effective and obviously we've managed to salvage the draw. That's something that we really struggled to do last season. But we hate the teams that come to us and go really compact and leave no space for us to attack into. It's really not our style at all. In terms of where we're going to finish this season, every year everyone obviously wants to play our prospects at the very least. I think this season will definitely challenge that. We've we definitely challenged some of the top teams. We've beaten Fulham away 2-1. We've given Leeds a good game, I think it was 1-1. So we've definitely got the ability to challenge those teams that are going to go for it. It's just whether it be typical Forest and bottle it towards the end of the season. But if I was going to say a table finish, I'd go fourth. In terms of my concerns for this season, my only real concern would be the striker position. If Lewis Graben gets injured, we're really struggling to get that alternative in. We've got Tyler Walker on loan at Lincoln City. That could be a possible recall in January if Graben has his December off. You know, typical Graben to get injured. We need someone who's a proving scorer in the championship. Obviously, Tyler Walker. He got a few against both. I think it was a couple of seasons ago now. Sabri Lamucci. He's a top geezer. As I'm speaking right now, actually, he's just won the EFL Manager of the Month with names such as Slavin Bilic in there as well. So, yeah, in essence, that speaks for itself, really. We just need the players to perform, which, at the moment, is working. So... We've got to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, typical for us doesn't happen. But in essence, it's looking really positive this season. This is one of our best opportunities to go up this year, especially amongst the teams that are out there. Teams that have come down from the Premier League haven't really performed so far this season. If we go up this season, it will just be absolutely incredible. We've got the fan support. Obviously, we've just sold out for Derby. Um, one of the notifications came on Instagram today. Just sold out for Derby. That's a month before the game's even bloody started. So, but yeah, come on, you Reds. It's looking positive this season. So, um, yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. If you can subscribe to me as well, that'd be decent. So, um, yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs>